All right, this is a video tutorial for setting up and using the new Snapchat Salamander 2.1.0. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and start off with uh, resources and settings. Uh, settings from the previous versions will no longer work with this version, at least uh, part, you know, portions of it. So let's get started. First thing that's important to go over is the media resource here. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. You'll notice that when you load media, we have two buttons here. I'm gonna minimize this. Minimize my emulators here. And uh, you'll notice on my desktop I have media and media many. Okay, so basically the way this is gonna work is I can assign a campaign to a, a specific folder and basically any pictures or videos in that folder will get randomly, randomly used, right? You know, so distributed evenly. Um, you can modify what's in the folder without having to stop the application and it will still, you know, use new things. So it's a cool system. Uh, so these buttons here make this loading easy. So you see in media here, I've got this, right? And then media many just, you know, same thing, but it, as an example here. So I can load up one. Media. And I'll set my campaign to thought one, right? like in the last video. So now you can see I have this I have this directory here under this campaign. So this means that media in this folder will be used for this campaign, okay? So it will randomize your folders and then it will randomize what it uses in the folders. So it's really cool here. Now, if I want now say I have a folder of like a bunch of uh, you know different folders that I want to use for example or you know different types of media that I want to use and it's all in a, it's all in a subdirectory, you just put them you put them all in one folder. And then you can use this button. Go to media many. Set thought one of the campaign. And you see I just imported 11 directories. So th those are some tools to make that easy for you, okay? Just like, you know, before you can clear them out, everything's the same. I'm just going to go ahead and load that one first media there. Keep it simple. All right. I'm gonna go back to Salamander. I'm gonna add scripts. I guess I already added scripts. I'll go ahead and clear this out just so anyone who's, who's uh, learning new can can uh, you know start fresh here. So you can add one line like this, and you can set a campaign. Um, but most of, most people are actually gonna be loading from files. So I'm gonna go ahead and show how to do that. So you can make a new text document or locate an existing one. And basically it's one script per line like for example script one line one script one line two and you break them up right with these you know with these uh, pipes right so you can do as many lines as you want uh, the link macro is pound uppercase L pound uh, for replacing links so for example And uh, the program will automatically remove empty lines, so you can go ahead and just, you know, if you're manually writing this out, you want to keep them clean, you can add an extra space, you know, I do. Uh, you, can, you can use uh, pound by pound anywhere, basically. But on Snapchat, if you put it in a separate message, it, it actually pulls the OG tags and, and picture, which allows you to kind of uh, increase the trust in the campaign, whatever you're doing. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this. I'll set my campaign to the thought one. Boom, so now we have two there. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, check links. I already loaded it. Um, I'm just gonna do a dummy one. I'll clear them all out real quick. So I'm just gonna load manual, like before you can load in a list, but uh, I'll do. You know what I mean? Some, some bullshit you gave me, right? I don't even know if that's real, we'll, we'll see. So uh, the filters, I already have these, you can add them, um, you can add or remove these while it's running.
to close your resource form, you just, uh, you know, check these, check them, for example, okay? Um, words are, there's a macro pound uppercase W pound uh, to do random word replacers. You can load words here, and then these are custom macros. If you have questions about that, you can hit me up on Skype or Discord, uh, but you should be good with this here. I'm going to go ahead and load my settings here. I'm starting from scratch here. So settings have changed somewhat. Some are the same, some are different. So uh, for pool interval, I'm going to go ahead and do um, 200, or, uh, 2,000 milliseconds there. Statistics interval is 1,000 milliseconds would be good. A view interval, I like 2,000. Um, if you're trying to increase speed, you can decrease this down. This really just has to do with display. So... Uh, Action attempts, I'm going to do a 1 and 1, 20, 40, command. Uh, on my on my computer, on my emulators, it's really fast, so I can go ahead and do 2 seconds for command and verify. Um, for media, for me, this is the time I'm allowed to actually upload media, meaning push the media. So it's, it's going to do about 10 seconds, so I'm going to go ahead and do 10 there. Uh, once again, we need to browse for ADB. The quickest way to do this is to go here, type percent app data percent, hit enter, click app data here, go to local, Android, SDK, platform tools, adb.exe. Emulator you do not you do not need right now. You're, we're gonna locate the a Snapchat package. If you don't have this, hit me up. I'll give it to you. This is for automatic installation on, on mass emulators. Type the package name, which is com.snapchat.android. There's a couple misconceptions, right? Just because the package is dash one.apk, it actually installs on the system with this name as an identifier. So just use that, okay? I'm just gonna save, you know, just, um, this is a setting reset interval. I may, I may integrate this again later, but right now, it's not being used so don't worry about those settings this idle interval is the delay between like actually interacting with each friend meaning a, a random interval between accepting the friend i like to keep this low to keep some speed if your emulator is a little bit slower or buggy you can increase that okay so now that i have these settings i'm going to click save and i'll be able to actually start the monitor here so i'm going to drag this into my other monitor here so I just opened statistics. I'm gonna go ahead and click start, and it's gonna it's gonna check what devices I have available, either USB or emulated on the device. You can see I have two emulators loaded here, five five four and five five six. So the Nexus two and a Pixel uh, two here, or I'm sorry, Nexus five X I believe in a Pixel two. They have different screen sizes, but because their uh, resolution and uh, uh, what do you DPI I guess. That's not the right word, but I'm drawing a blank here. Is the same, the the locations work fine. So you you know it's okay. So you can kind of play with that. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and set the campaign for both of these. And you can actually change the campaign while it's running. So if you wanted to prime a new campaign while it's running and then switch them over, you can do that without stopping the application. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, install the package, make sure they all have it installed. I already know they do, but, you know, just, uh, yep, already installed. Good, good. Okay, so from there, um, I need to actually load Snapchat manually on one of them, okay? And I'm going to get some locations. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get the friend location, okay? And this is this right here, this button here. So I'm, I'm gonna, um, I'm not sure if I included in the last video how to set up, uh, fuck, pardon my French. We'll, we'll, real quick, I'm gonna show you how to do this. Okay, so in settings, go to system, about emulated device, scroll down and click build number until it tells you your developer okay then go back and search pointer pointer location okay 
and you'll see and you then click this it's a developer option here you want to make sure that this is enabled this will give you this diagram up here x and y sh showing you locations okay so now that I have that I can go back to snapchat and I can get this x and y you see my x and y is 872 and 152 okay so I'm gonna go ahead and write that here 872 one five two okay and these are minimum maximums so it will randomize so I'm gonna create a little bit of a not you don't want too much of a difference but a little bit to create some randomization so we'll do eight seven three literally that'll be fine if you create too much randomization I won't click where it's supposed to though so you want to kind of be double checking that and I'll do a 150 151 there and an interval between checking for friends just do one two seconds okay and then an interval between um, accepting this here, I like to do, um, I like to do two and three seconds because sometimes when you load this, uh, it will actually, actually, yeah, sometimes when you load this, it will pop new ones in really quickly if you're getting a lot of ads. So it's better to give it just a little bit of a delay there. And then once again, the X and the Y here. So the X is six six four. No, it's six six five and five eleven. Six six five and five eleven. So we'll do five twelve and six six seven. All right. And then I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and close this just to reset the location here. Oh, what happened there? Uh oh. slept these emulators a few times okay so I'm gonna go back here and then I'm gonna get the open location so after you click accept it's gonna load for a minute you want to give it about a one or two second interval for snapchat to realize that you guys are now friends so you can accept so you can actually send messages so I'm gonna do a two and three set or yeah one and two seconds I'm actually gonna yeah you don't want too long but you don't want too little so one or two seconds would be good so I'm gonna get a location here you don't want the location on the username or it's gonna view, view stories more than it should so I'm gonna go ahead and do like right here and that's 512 511 so 512 511 so we'll do 513 512 literally these numbers may be different in your device, okay? Uh, if you need help setting this up, um, offer a, a package on that, hit me up. You know, um, you should be okay with this, but if you're not, I'll answer simple questions and help you where I can, so hit me up. All right, so continuing on here, I wanna do scripts, so I'm gonna go ahead and enable that here. So I'm gonna go ahead and manually accept this girl now here. I'm gonna simulate that action. I'm gonna close my keyboard and I'm gonna get the scripts location, which is right here. So that is 254 and 1721. 254, 1721, 256, 1722 would be good for me. Okay, I wanna send media. You know, with these checkboxes, you can enable these features modularly. So I want to send media. I'm going to set an interval of one to two. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and set the gallery the X and Y min here. So that is this button here. Okay. So that is 9 11 17 13. Okay. 9 11 17 13. Nine, twelve, seventeen, fourteen. I'm keep, I'm keeping it tight just so it'll work good right now. Um, all right, let's see here. So now, once you've clicked gallery, your media location is the first media. So I'm just gonna pick a range of here. So that is one seventy, thirteen, nineteen. One seventy, thirteen, nineteen. I'll put 20 down here and I'll put 1319 up here. 
175. You have a pretty big range in that selection, uh, but I'm just keeping it tight for examples right now. I want to set a custom filter on this, so I'm going to go ahead and set the filter. That button, its location is right here. That is 996 and 138. 996-138. All right. And I want to set a filter color. Um, so that so the X is going to be very tight. It's going to be right in the middle here. All right. So I have nine. I believe that is nine nine nine. Yeah. So the X is going to be one thousand, and Y is going to be. 250 to 500 250 to 500 okay let me get that x is going to be 1000 actually yeah we'll do 999 and 1000 one pixel and x okay and then for actually sending messages and uh, pictures and media, with the interval for that, I like to do between seven and 10 seconds. This is usually the time it takes them to respond. It is like normally perfect. You may need to change it if your networking speed is a little slow or whatever. But uh, you know, with the clients I've been talking to, a lot of guys are using USB devices now, which is awesome. Um, I've, just, I've just worked with a guy to make sure this works on an AMD, um, but an AMD dedicated server with some serious power. So um, now the emulators can, you could probably run 10 or 20 emulators depending on the device. So um, the biggest thing with this new media update is that you can use less CPU, less uh, resource on these emulators in, in some cases. So you may not want to though, but you, sh you should be able to. So, all right, so the send button, right? That's this guy right here. So I just need an X and Y for him. That is 980 and 1727. I'll do a 1728 max, 1727 min, and 981. And we should be good there. I'm going to go ahead and double check that. A little hard to see there. Looks like 986 actually. It won't matter though because, yeah, no, 980 will be just good. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and save. Make sure you save. When you save settings, the settings go, they apply to active emulators. Um, if you don't save, um, it, won't, it won't apply, right? So, yeah. All right. Go ahead and discard that. Do a glance over this. All right. One thing about these emulators is, uh, or the Snapchat accounts, you want to make sure your notifications are off before starting anything here. So you go to your settings, notifications, boom, disable notifications. Every time you log into a new device, it's gonna have, it's gonna do that. Cool. All right, now I can go ahead and start up my emulators here.
So it looks like the emulator on the left had a trouble pushing the media. Um, I think this happened because I had a, a bad symbol in the file name. You want to make sure your image files don't have bad file names. I just downloaded some random ones. The other thing is, I gotta be honest, these emulators have been loaded for like three days on my computer. That left one's lagging like a mother. But you get the point, what's going on here, so. All right, well, that gives a pretty good demo. We're already at uh, 21 minutes here, wow. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. Um, I don't think I forgot anything. Uh, if you have questions, hit me up uh, or re refer to the other videos because really the settings have just changed here. All right.